So now can we start with the impact of introduction of money economy the traditional African society? <laughs> During lesson time, we talked about uh, the first impact was breaking of family what? Ties. So because there's people moved from rural to urban areas, it resulted <coughs> to people breaking family ties because they moved to the urban areas to search for what? Employment so they can get paid. Number two, we also talked about uh, the incline of uh, cash crops. That is the productions of traditional substance food crops declined and were replaced by cash crops. Because now uh, the settlers were selling the, the what? The crops. And they had huge plantations. There was also introduction of wage labor. That is, uh, there was introduction of payment after work what? Work done. Arable land was alienated from Africans who were initially reduced to squatters. So, land that was cultivatable or land which was capable for growing crops, which belonged to the Africans, was given to the what? To the, <coughs> to the Europeans. They took the land, it wasn't given, they took the land and uh, they created huge plantations and the Africans worked there. So because the land that was cultivatable for the Africans was taken by the, these settlers and the European, now Africans remained what? Squatters. They were reduced to squatters. There was also the creation of the gap between the rich and the poor. In that, uh, because now, most, those people who are working or those who, are, who went to for the for more education, were able to get skills and were employed and were earning. And there were others who, when the formal education came about, they were not ready to receive it. So those ones who were not ready to receive it could not be able to work, to earn what? To earn money. So the, the gap between the rich and the poor grew what? Large. There was also emergence of vices. And as I was leaving, I told you, emergence of vices is various crimes or bad habits came about. For example, there was uh, bribery, corruption, prostitution, and robbery. Also another impact was that there was individual ownership of what? Land, which was uh, emphasized, and uh, land could be sold to anyone at will. Remember in the African traditional societies, land was owned what communally but after the money economy or the introduction of money economy now there was individual ownership of land so the land the traditional um land that was not supposed to be sold could be sold to anyone at will also there was this uh, as i talked about uh, when i was talking in the first point about breaking of family ties the in the rural urban migration increasing because many people left, those who are educated, most people who are educated left the rural areas and they went to what? To urban areas. Therefore, weaker people were left in the what? They were left in the rural areas. So, point number eight is rural urban what? Migration. Also, bread wealth became commercialized. As we talked before, bread wealth was being paid in form of what? In form of livestock, yes, honey, food stuff, like that. But now it was um, being paid via what? Via money. Are you understanding? Yes. We continue. Also, uh, there was exploitation of the poor by the, the rich through poor wages and overcharging the prices of goods. So the rich took advantage of the poor. They were paying them poor wages. After they'd uh, done some work, they were paying them poorly. Kindly lock the door if you're not going. And uh, also they were overcharging the goods they was, that they were sold. In the morning, 
I told you about uh, introduction of the new goods. Which new goods did I tell you that came about with the European settlers? There was clothes, soap, sugar, and what? Matches, yes. So some of the people now, the European settlers were overcharging prices on the goods. Because most people wanted to buy the goods because they did not know about them. That's why even today you are told that you cannot be able to, uh, what is it called? When someone gives you sweets before they do something, you're not supposed to accept because that is a form of colonization. Is, that's the way we were colonized by the European. Um, there was also a destruction of the natural environment. The natural environment was uh, destroyed to create building projects roads, urban centers. This is because there was a lot of growth. And the, this growth was rampant and it was happening very fast. So there was destruction of the natural environment. For example, forests were destroyed so that they could make way to get access to the rural areas. And also uh, there was destruction of uh, also steel forests so that you can get what? Building materials. Uh, the cost of living increased because everything that one needed required what? Money. It required money. That's why the cost of living increased. The, there was deterioration of African values. So the, the, here we are saying that um, the African values lost their good. That is, they were not desirable as before. They were not pleasing. So people stopped cherishing the African values, customs, and practices. That is what we mean that by deteriorating, is they were what? Now undesirable, or they, they lost their good, or they were not pleasing as before. And uh, lastly, there was loss of African dignity. That is, there was loss, loss of African worth. Because since Africans needed money to pay taxes, they, was, they, were, they were forced to work in the plantations. They were also uh, working there sometimes under very dispolarable conditions so as to get money. So they were forced there, even some of them not even in the plantations, they were supposed also to work <coughs> some very undignified jobs in the homes of the European. So there was loss of the African dignity, which is African worth. Then from there, uh, we go to the Christian teaching on where